right, so me and Patrick are gonna go head out to Henry's. We're gonna check out some camera gear. I'm gonna try to get a new SD card because I ended up actually losing mine and my last vlog. And then we're gonna go to the shoe store as well because he's gonna get some new shoes and uh, I'm going to get some new laces hopefully as well. When the day is longer than the night the day is longer than the night. Just got a new microphone and a new SD card. Oh, not mine, but... <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's the last thing I'm gonna buy, because I gotta save up money. Life won't wait. I have like four pairs of these already, <laughs> and I like destroyed every single one of them. You should get brown colored ones, you know, if they're about <laughs> stepping in mud. How are you going? Good, how are you? You're just juggling your shoes. <laughs> so, uh, can I get a size nine and a half for these? Nine and a half, yeah, absolutely. Do it again, you loser. Okay. They're a little higher. Hey. <laughs> she she approves. Can't take this guy anywhere. Jeez. He can't take a uh, circus performer anywhere. He always wants to do like the craziest stuff. And this is one of them. Oh, my hip cracks so loud. Too cool. Uh, is this sugar? Sweetener. So that's not sugar. These are sugar, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't drink coffee. I don't know. You're missing out. Peter McKinnon drinks coffee. Yeah, but I'm Jay Alvarez. <laughs> Patty Alvarez? Yeah, so how do you do two creams? How, when do I stop? Uh, just like do a little dinner, like a little sploosh of it. Whoop. That's way, way too much cream. Really? Yeah, way too much cream. This is gonna be like white. Let's go. All right, so it's time to go to work now. I'm gonna head out there, hopefully get a little workout in afterwards, but uh, yeah, let's go to the gym. Here we are. So I saw a funny tweet the other day, and it was quoting a kid who said, if kids eat Happy Meals, what do adults eat? Sad meals? And it was quite funny, but it also had some truth to it. Oftentimes, as adults, we get obsessed with linear progress towards a very specific goal, and we lose sight of the journey and the exploration we become obsessed with this singular goal, unaware if obtaining this goal will give us that satisfaction that we so desire. I remember after my last MMA fight, I think I won it in something like 26 seconds, and I was ecstatic for about 20 minutes, but after that I had this empty feeling inside, and I remember thinking, is that what I trained for, for, for eight weeks? Is this all? Is this, is this the end? Is that all I get? And it just made me feel so empty. I was so focused on the singular event that I lost sight of the journey. There's a saying that we don't stop playing because we've become old, but we become old because we stop playing. And I think that is so true because we lose the little things. We lose the creativity and the exploration that we had as kids those new challenges and just freedom that we had. And instead we become obsessed with some sort of unobtainable lifestyle. I think it's important to constantly try new things and learn new skills. One, not just for the entertainment of it, but that's actually when you experience the most development is whenever you're doing new activities, you have the most, you know, 
redesigning of the brain, creation of neural pathways. And that will lead into further progress in other skills that you decide to do in the future. It's in the beginning and intermediate stages that you will see the most progress. And it's also linked to our perception of time. We perceive that time is going slower whenever we're learning new activities or learning new skills because it is through the development of new neural pathways that we have a slowed down concentration on the activities that we're doing. That's why when we get older, time seems to go quicker it's because more and more we're doing more repetitive tasks and things that we've already done and establish some sort of level of mastery over. Well, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content weekly. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more things. Just uh, got finished uh, this weekend from a seminar with Steve Atlas and learned lots of new things and got to explore uh, a lot of different movements and uh, got new perspectives on things. And I really suggest if you ever have the opportunity to go to one of his seminars or try to learn from him directly. He's a super knowledgeable guy, interesting perspective, and he has a fairly unique blend of things. Like he's not. Um, dogmatic in the way he thinks he does weightlifting and bodybuilding style movements and he also does the hand balancing and performance side of things as well and uh, yeah it was a super cool uh, opportunity and uh, yeah I'm um, excited to bring into fruition some of the things that he taught me this weekend so yeah uh, thank you for watching again and we'll see you later